Hey guys, what's cracking? Um, my mom, it's still working on my mom's truck. This is the last piece to the uh, puzzle I gotta do. The radio we have in this truck is a dual from Walmart for 20 bucks. Um, what's going on? It went through the garage fire and it's going out. It's internally shorted, shorting itself out. So, I was looking around online trying to find a radio. And well, further ado, went to another duel. This came from Advance. It's got it is a stripped down version of the one I want to buy for the Tahoe. What a I have had no bad things to say about the $20 radio. I mean, yeah, the audio, yeah, it's not like my Pioneer, but you know, my mom's different than me. You know, my mom just wants something to listen to going down the road. Me personally, I want to hear the music. I want to hear the. I want to feel the bass. But that's besides the point. So, we're going to lay it to my mom. This is the one. This is actually a step up from the one that Walmart has for 120. And instead of the screen flipping out and flipping back in, and flipping back out, flipping back in, this is screen. Is stationary. This is a DV 271 BT. Advance has got this. Advance Auto Part has this. So, yeah, all your local Advance has this. Um, it's got a uh, basically got an SD card, does DVDs, does radio, it has AV input, USB, phone audio and aux input so it's got every every whistle bell and whistle except for don't have android auto play but that like i said that's the upgraded version of the one i want the 200 dollars one has the android auto in it but i want to see how this does i've never had one so we're going to te test it out in this um some more specs on this it's 6.2 inch lcd screen blah blah touch Blah blah blah, uh, Bluetooth. We all know about that. Blah 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 blah. Um, it's got a front USB input. Uh, all your your USB USB port, the micro SD card, um, the aux. They're all on the front. Should be. Where is the aux on the back of this radio? Uh, front front panel. Yeah. Yeah, everything's on the front. It's got two RCA video outputs in the back, three pairs of RCA preamp outputs on it, uh, file formats MP3 or JPEG, uh, seven band graphic equalizer, seven EQ presets, jazz, classic rock, blah blah blah. As we all know, I don't know about this 200 watt max, 50 watts. Per channel times four as uh, sketchy but you know for what it is if it performs good this is the one I'm gonna go with because the pioneer that one I want that has the Android uh, Android CarPlay it's like 500 almost well I'll say with everything on it, it'd be pushing <coughs> 600 for it. So, yeah. So, if a $200 radio works, that'd be perfect. Because it ain't my vehicle. All I need to do is have, let my mom have something listed. Okay. So, here's the radio. It's not a bad size, to be honest. Um, let's see, remove the screw before installation. Remove the screw before installation. So we've got two screws you got to remove before installation. It's thick at the top because that's where the DVD 
uh, drives that. Uh, there's all your inputs and outputs. What matter, mama? So it's got your front out, rear out, and your left and right ends. Front and right, front and rear outs. Uh, right and left in. Get your video out one and two. Video in, camera in, subwoofer out, subwoofer out. So, yeah. And it's got a diagram of how to do it. So, yeah. This was manufactured in January of 2021, so this year it's not that old then. Hmm. Here's the front of it. Uh, there's your USB. That's your USB input there. Aux in. It's got a rotary knob. Your microphone override button, micro SD card, your eject, your mic, power and skip, mute and skip. So, yeah, not too bad a radio. Here's your bezel trim for some vehicles, may need it. Your cable. Uh, Switch input. Don't know what that's for. All your speakers. Yeah. Your brake wire. Your elimination wire. Reverse wire. Your powered antenna wire. Battery, remote turn on for the amp, ground, and all your speaker wires here. So, yeah, that's not too bad. <clears throat> You're probably going to need to read the instructions to figure out how to wire this thing in because there is a couple of things on there I'm not too sure. Oh, that's steering wheel. Your SWC input is steering wheel controls. So that's not, that won't be bad. So that's what that's for. Uh, your illumination wire, that's so it can dim the radio when it when you have your when your lights kick on, your brake switch. And so I'm probably gonna see if I could ground it and override it. Uh, reverse is so when you drop it in reverse it kicks the camera on so yeah so yeah that's basically that um now the second thing i got we got for this truck If all else fails, I'll put a toggle switch in it to override the brake switch if I can't ground the permanently ground the switch. Okay, here's a dual backup camera for this. I'm gonna have to look at I have to look at the instructions. figure out what they all want blah 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 so yeah so that that'll be interesting when we get to that point let's look at the wire harness got uh, double sized 
side adhesive and two screws. This looks like the power cable. Yep, this power cable here. Don't seem long. Uh, probably eight foot maybe. And that's your video cable. Yep. Yep, that's the uh, power for the reverse light camera. And this is your little camera. Yep, there is this little camera. Power and video. That little guy's tiny, guys. I mean, that thing's tiny, tiny. So that's all going to be fun to hook up. And last but not least, I'm going to actually fix the stupid door chime when the keys are in the ignition. And of course, a radio works without this, by the way. You just getting kind of annoying because I don't have a door to chime to tell me the keys are in or lights are on. So, if anybody's wondering, this, if you go to Walmart to get this, it says 2020 through 2013, this does fit the Silverado. Um, Silverado, old 3 to old 6, that's what this truck is in old 5. So, so yeah, I'll let you guys look at the back of that package. There you go. I got my hand blocking it. There you go. So yeah. Hey baby. What's up? Yeah. <clears throat> Got instructions, so I don't think I need them. But I have them if I need them. Here's that little chime box they, that the truck's missing. No one sat in your seat, girl. The heck is a USB cable for? Yay! Got a USB cable. What's this? Does do you have to hook this to a computer? Micro B USB cable. Upgradable. You can upgrade this thing. Hmm. Did not know this. You can upgrade this. So I am going to need the instructions.
Okay, so I'm going to need instruction. So, right there is where the USB port goes into. Right there. Guess you can upgrade this. I don't know. Never had anything this new. And this is your wire harness. The one I have in the truck is modified. That plugs into this box. I get that. What's that for then? Radio connection, okay. It does say. For radios with a with a a ra for radios with wire for SWC connect the 3.5 millimeter adapter include it with the interfaces to the 3.5 millimeter then then connect brown to radio wire labeled key A switch one or switch brown white brown slash white. Heck, it's brown wires. I don't see no brown wires. What are you talking about brown? That's brown. That's illumination. Boys, have you lost your? Pea picking brain. I see orange. I see gray. Oh, brown right there. Oh, there is a second part to that. You guys see that? No, I didn't see it either. So I got some research to do guys because it has either war. I know my duel, I believe my duel. fix things correctly, I end up putting myself in a freaking Yeah, okay. So the dual is steering wheel switch input compatible with PAC SWC interface. Is that what this thing is? So that's what this thing must be. Right? what it must be. That's what that got to be for. That means on the dual, on this switch, 
switch thing. That's what it's got to be for then. And these wires get jammed into these wires. And that, I guess, is if you don't have an interface for the harness. All right, vehicles without steering wheel controls, which this truck don't have it. All right, tie the wires from the three and a half millimeter adapter, include it with the interface together. So you tie. Okay, gotcha. So what you do is you connect these together, and then you twist these two together. That grounds it out, and then it says cut pin 5 in the diagram which if you look here pin 5 so 5 over 1 2 3 4 5 which is not even there So this don't have pin 5. So they must did an upgrade update to this. So this does not have steering wheel controls. So we just twist those together. Yeah, for vehicles without steering wheel controls, tie the wires together. And pin 5, yeah. Because pin 5 is upgraded. Alright. Now you guys see what I go through to figure this crap out. You know, when you don't do it all the time, it's a little rough. You used to be good at this crap back in the day. And then this module gets plugged in here and blah blah blah. Okay, I think I figured it out. Yep, alright. It's figured out, guys. You gotta figure it out. And I can upgrade this thing too if I need to. Okay. Uh, I'll catch you guys later then. Catch you probably tomorrow. It's getting late tonight. Alright, catch you guys later. Alright, some of you guys. I was gonna go to sleep, but I wanna show you guys. Some of you guys may or may not know. This radio has been to the fire. See how smoke damage it is? It still works. It just don't work right. See how some of that display? And right now the radio is cold, so it's working again. When this radio gets burning hot where you can bake eggs on it, it just quits working. That's why it's getting replaced. Just like my Lincoln radio that was in the van, it does the exact same thing. So, I've already took the bezel off. I've had the bezel off, actually. I haven't put it back on. So, it's just three, seven mils. I've already, like I said, I've already had an aftermarket radio put in this van. This van. This truck.
You're grumpy looking. I prefer a twenty dollar radio get destroyed than that radio that mom picked up for a truck. But yep. Now you guys see this fire damage. Smoke damage, as they say. Not fire, but smoke damage. Yep. So, like I said, this has already been modified to work in this truck once before. That's what that cable is, power feed. Okay. Get rid of that. There's the twenty dollar radio. Like I said, I've already had this thing modified. So all I need to do is supply power here to both of these. And I can't get it. I'm gonna need ground. And I'm done soldering. I'm just going to twist tie it shut. So, see, I need 12 volts and I need that. I need power and 12 volts. Hook it to this switch wire here. I'm going to have to probably find a ground for it. Might have to supply ground to it. Won't be hard. I don't see nowhere to ground it. I'll supply ground. <laughs> 